Hey, it's Nolan North, and you should be at SheAttack.com. What's up, everyone? This is Erica of SheAttack.com, and I'm going to be previewing Phoenix Furia for the PS4 and Xbox One. I was able to get my hands on this game for the PS4, and I wanted to give you guys my first impressions, what I think about the game, do I feel that you guys should buy it. I want to give you a good heads up on what this game is about, and uh, yeah, so let's just get into it. So Phoenix Feria was formerly called Phoenix Rage. It's developed by a guy uh, named Eduardo Ramirez. He's from Costa Rica. He, along with a couple others, created this game. This is his baby. This is his dream come true to have this game on major consoles. He's been waiting for this day. Um, it's been delayed a little bit because of having to change the name. That was kind of a huge obstacle that he had to overcome. And reading the story about it really made me feel for him and kind of, you know, really appreciate appreciate the process that he went through in creating this game. Um, you can tell he's really passionate about this game and so if that does something for you as well, um, it's definitely something to keep in mind. It makes you appreciate this game even more. Ultimately, uh, because they didn't want to go to court, they did not have the resources to fight for that name, uh, Phoenix Rage, they ultimately decided on Fury or Furia to replace that word. And so here we have Phoenix Furia. So what is this game? What is it about? Uh, it's pretty much a puzzle 2D platformer and it's where you have to get a cookie and along the way um, you will come into contact with these little minions that uh, have their own patterns of movement. You have to do your best to avoid them, make your way to the blue cube, and that is how you beat the level. Along the way, it does get more challenging. I noticed immediately, maybe after the fifth level or so, the difficulty definitely went up and I felt like I was getting better each time. And even though I would die a few times and kind of think to myself, man, I don't think I can do this level. I, I don't even know what the hell to do. Uh, I would eventually figure it out and I would feel really smart about it. And it just takes some persistence. It takes some thinking and um, definitely thinking outside of the box because there were times where I'd have to find a completely different route. Um, I would look at the entire level instead of just the straightforward path that I thought I should do. I would look at the whole level and come up with different ways to get to that blue cube and it just it was a good feeling. Like I said along the way you have to avoid these minions. You can do this by jumping constantly if you want to. You can do one jump, double jump, triple jump. It, it, it goes on forever as long as you want it to. You can also use a boost uh, ability which is pretty cool. You Sometimes you really do need to do that if you have to go faster. Um, there's different worlds in the game and once you complete the levels in one world you will face a boss in which he'll pretty much just chase you. This reminded me a lot of Super Meat Boy where I had to outrun bosses in that game. I'm doing it here. The difference is I'm kind of using my different move sets. I'm using the environment around me. The first boss for example I had to cut through ice and cut through um, different barriers and, and you'll learn how to do these things as you go. And it's very challenging. I, I had a good time fighting that first boss. I guess if you want to call it fighting, I was pretty much outrunning him. And it's a very rewarding feeling just to get through that first world and continue. And I haven't really uh, stopped the whole day. I've been going back and forth to this game and, you know, taking a break here and there. And, and just, I find myself going back to it. Um, so it's, it's definitely one of those games that if you have the time, you have the patience and you like learning from your mistakes and you get a rewarded feeling from doing so, Phoenix Furia is definitely one of those games to look at. Like I was alluding to, the environments do play a part in this game and they do evolve. I noticed that when I got to the second world, things started to change up a bit. There were parts where I can teleport through, there were um, fire walls that I can slide down to create a kind of fireball with my character and then I would use myself to push through ice walls and that's needed to do in some of these levels. It can be, you know, pretty much life or death if you don't if you don't do it at the right exact time. And it gets challenging in that way. I do appreciate that how the environments do start to evolve and they definitely play a part. The teleporting, for example, the beams that you teleport through, they're color coordinated. So if you want to go to the pink part, you got to go through the pink beam to try and get to that. Uh, section. Same goes for blue, green, and just the different colors. And this can create a puzzle within itself. You have to figure out, okay, I want to get to this top left corner, but the beam I'm going through is sending me to the bottom. How do I get up there? And you have to try and figure that out. So there's definitely puzzles within the puzzle, if you get what I'm saying. It, it creates more challenge as you go. 
Overall, I definitely recommend this game. Like I said, it, it reminds me a lot of Super Meat Boy. So if you're a fan of that game, you like that kind of challenge and that kind of puzzle platform feel in 2D, this game is probably for you. I think you'll really enjoy this game. There's a lot of similarities here with Phoenix Furia, but it also has its own identity as well. It does things different. The environments evolve, you can evolve your play styles with those environments. It really does all come into play. And then you also have the boost moves and just different things you can do throughout the game to, to progress in the game. And it just, you know, it's very interesting. I like it so far and I definitely recommend it, you guys. Check it out June 8th. PS4 and Xbox One. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you later. Peace.